Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a very interesting and useful project, an automatic pet feeder. This project is designed to feed your pet at the right time and with the exact amount of food, even when you're not at home. It uses a load cell to measure the food weight, a real-time clock, RTC module to schedule feeding time, and a stepper motor with an A4988 driver to control the dispenser mechanism accurately. We've also added a 16x2 LCD display to show the live weight, food level, and settings clearly. This is a perfect automation project for pet owners, and it's also a great practical example of combining electronics, sensors, and motor control. In this full tutorial, I'll walk you through all the steps, from components and wiring to the complete working code and final demonstration. So stay tuned till the end of the video, and and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more electronics and Arduino-based projects. Let's get started. In this project, we are using several components to build a fully functional automatic pet feeder. The brain of the system is an Arduino Nano, which controls all the other modules. To display live information like weight, time, and menu settings, we are using a 16x4 I2C LCD display. The LCD is connected to the Nano using the I2C lines. SD8A4 and SCL to A5. To measure the weight of the food in real time, we are using an HX711 load cell module. The load cell is connected to the HX711, and the HX711 output pins are connected to the Arduino Nano, DOUT to pin 11 and CLK to pin 10. For scheduled feeding, we are using an RTC DS1307 real time clock module, which keeps track of the current time even if the power goes off. The RTC is also connected via I2C to the same A4 and A5 lines of the Arduino. To dispense food, we've used a NEMA 17 stepper motor controlled through an A4988 stepper motor driver. The step pin of the driver is connected to pin D6, and the die R pin is connected to D7. The motor gets its power supply externally and ground is shared with the Arduino. We have five push buttons for user interaction, one mode or next button to switch between menu settings, one button to increase values, one to decrease values, one to toggle the LCD on and off, and finally a manual feed button to instantly dispense food whenever required. All buttons are connected to analog pins A0 to A4, and each is pulled high using internal pull-up resistors. This setup allows full control over time-based feeding, manual dispensing, and live monitoring of the food level, all displayed clearly on the LCD screen. Now let's go through the complete code and understand how this automatic pet feeder works step-by-step. Step. We start by including all the necessary libraries. These include HX711 for the load cell, wire, and Liquid Crystal I2C for the LCD, RT Sclib for the real-time clock module, Axel Stepper for controlling the stepper motor through the A4988 driver, and EEPROM to save the settings like time and food amount even after power reset. Next, we define the pin connections. The HX711 module uses digital pins 10 and 11 for communication. The five push buttons are connected to analog pins A0 to A4. The stepper motor is controlled using digital pin 6 for the step signal and 7 for the direction signal. The LCD is connected via the I2C interface to pins A4 and A5. After that, we initialize all components. In the setup function, we begin communication with the HX711, initialize the LCD, load previously saved settings from EEPROM, and check if the RTC module is connected properly. Moving on to the loop function, this is where all the logic happens. First, we continuously read the current time from the RTC module. The LCD on-off toggle button is used to switch the display on or off to save power. The mode button lets you cycle through different settings like setting the feeding hour, minute, and food amount in grams. The up and down buttons allow you to adjust the values within safe limits. For example, hours are kept between 0 and 23, minutes between 0 and 59, and food grams between 0 and 100. Whenever a value is changed, it is immediately saved to EEPROM so it can be restored later. We also read the weight using the load cell, convert it to grams, and show it on the display. The screen also shows food level as a percentage. The main logic checks if the current time matches the set feeding time. If it does, and the feeding has not already been triggered, it runs the stepper motor to dispense food. 
This is done using the feed motor function, which calculates the number of steps based on how many grams we want to dispense. We also have a manual feed button, which lets the user instantly dispense the same set quantity of food at any time. When this button is pressed, a message is shown on the display and the motor runs just like a scheduled feed. Finally, the LCD is continuously updated to show real-time data such as weight, current time, and settings, depending on the selected mode. This code brings together all components to work seamlessly and ensures that your pet gets fed automatically and accurately every day. Now let's see how the automatic pet feeder works in real time. When the system powers on, the LCD display lights up and shows the current weight in grams, the food level as a percentage, and the real-time clock at the bottom. If there's no food on the load cell, it will prompt a message saying, please refill, or below 500 grams, depending on the current weight. You can press the mode button to enter the settings menu. The first option allows you to set the hour at which the feeding should happen. Press the up or down buttons to increase or decrease the hour value. Press mode again to move to the minute setting and adjust it similarly. The next screen lets you set the sh food quantity in grams that should be dispensed at the set time. Once done, press mode again to return to the main display. Now, when the real-time clock matches the feeding time you've set, the feeder will automatically trigger. A message will appear saying that food is being dispensed, and the stepper motor will rotate through the A4988 driver to release the exact number of grams of food. Once completed, the display returns to normal and prevents repeated feeding within the same minute. You can also press the manual feed button at any time. This will immediately activate the motor and dispense the same quantity of food as per the current setting. A message will be shown on the screen indicating that manual feeding is in progress. This setup ensures that your pet gets the right amount of food at the right time automatically and you still have full control if you ever want to feed them manually. The live weight monitoring on the screen helps you know when to refill the food container, making the entire system smart and reliable. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this complete tutorial on building your own automatic pet feeder using Arduino, load cell, RTC, and a stepper motor. If you found this project useful or learned something new, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends or classmates. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss out on upcoming electronics and automation tutorials. If you have any questions, doubts, or suggestions for future projects, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I read and reply to every one of them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and keep building.